Welcome back to our weather right now. And this is as the winter storm starts to roll into our region. This is a live look at Highway 89 in Garden City. We see the snow already starting to cover the road there. There's no traffic out in that area, fortunately. And that is what you're advised to do. Stay home if you don't have to go anywhere over these next well, couple of days, Brack. I know this is going to be a multiple day storm Monday, Tuesday. Potentially, at least for northern Utah, lingering on into Wednesday morning. Already getting reports of like the county workers going to do a late start with work. And we'll see what happens with looking at the school systems here. Potentially, at least across extreme northern Utah, maybe a late start. And maybe potentially there could be some delays or some closures. We'll definitely keep our eye on that where this winter storm having some big impacts here overnight through tomorrow. Now, right now in Salt Lake City, we're looking at mostly cloudy skies. Winds out of the north at 14 miles per hour, low 40s. So precipitation that we're seeing at least south of Ogden right now is mainly rain, but that will transition over into snow as we look towards tomorrow morning. Now with this storm, high confidence here. We know it's going to be Monday through Wednesday. Widespread rain and snow. Now initially we'll see rain briefly, then it's changing all into snow. Colder temperatures, we're going to be looking at highs only in the 30s for the next three days here, at least across northern Utah for the Wasatch Front. A lot of snow expected now. Potentially, we can be looking at some lake effect snow Tuesday into Wednesday. We're kind of getting a grip on that to see how much will fall there. Now, as we look at the watches and warnings, high wind warning will be in effect for south central, southeastern Utah throughout the day on Monday until Monday evening. I mentioned wind gusts upwards of 60, 70 miles per hour. In areas of pink winter storm warning, so we're incorporating the valleys and the mountains for southern, southwestern, west central, central Utah here along the Wasatch Front through Tooele Valley. As again, we're talking a lot of snow. We're going to be doing some shoveling, and let's talk about the amounts that we're going to be looking at. Feet of snow for the mountains, Wasatch Mountains, two to three feet of snow. Cottonwood Canyons, maybe three to four feet of snow. You in the mountains, two to three feet. Wasatch Back, Park City, Heber. 10 to 20 inches with more expected for Ogden Valley on a range of 1 to 2 feet of snow. Now, for most northern valleys, it's in a range between 5 to 10 inches, expecting more throughout the Tooele Valley and here throughout the Salt Lake Valley as well, where benches could pick up 10 to 18 inches. Most of the locations through the central valleys, it's 4 to 8 inches. I want to show you this because we kind of cut it off uh, earlier on. Let me show you what the models are looking at with the mountains. Look at Brighton. 42 inches that's pushing up through Wednesday morning. So again, that's just not all one day, but the combination with this storm rolling through Monday into Wednesday. Now we're starting to see this storm take shape and form the cold front lining up. It's strengthening. We're starting to see that heavy shower activity again. It's rain in Ogden, but you push further northward. You go through Tremont into Logan. It's kind of a mixture of some rain and snow, but as colder air settles in, it'll all be turning into snow mid morning tomorrow. So tomorrow we're waking up seeing flakes flying, but it's going to be a little bit more wet snow, so I don't really see it piling up until we get mid morning and they're on throughout the afternoon. But we've got that cold front tracking in, so you see the snow showers as you look hour by hour to start your work week off the Monday morning commute. The snow will be falling now, it will be sticking through the canyons and throughout the northern Wasatch Front through extreme northern Utah, but it'll be tracking further southward throughout the day. As we get into the afternoon, central and southern Utah, you're starting to see the snow fall and sticking to the roads. I-15 traveling again from the Wasatch Front all the way through Cedar City will have big issues, especially as you move throughout the afternoon. Now for St. George, you've got the rain lingering on through Tuesday morning. Then you see sunny weather and some warm temperatures into the 70s and 80s even for the weekend. Northern Utah, here we go with the snow. It continues on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday morning, 30s for highs, slow warm up back into the 50s. We do see an extended break from the storms looking towards next weekend into next week. We can see 60s returning by next week, but all in all, we're holding on to winter at least the first half of the week.